Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how you can make a simple age calculator app. So this app will turn your age from years to hours. Yeah, you can see how old hours are you. So, so we're going to be making this on code.org. So you should have your account on that, okay? Now search Google or type a URL. Code.org. O R G press enter. Now this is the screen you will get. Now click on sign in. Now I already have an account, so I'll just sign in. But if you don't have if you haven't joined in yet, just click create an account. I'm just gonna sign in with my email ID and password. In. now this is my dashboard now this on the top at the top right corner you will see your name my name over here is the my profile name is the blizzard so it's showing the because it's a long name now right next to your name it is create click on the arrow of create and these are the five options you have sprite lab artist app lab game lab dance party now click on app lab now this is our screen this is our workspace toolbox and the mobile screen preview now right i want you on top left corner this is your project's name click on rename and rename it to age calculator you can choose any other name you want to give it it's your app you can rename it to any name but i'll just rename it to age calculator now right now we are on the code screen on top of the mobile screen you will see there are three buttons right now we're on code i want you to click on design and this is our design workspace design toolbox and the mobile screen is still there now in the design toolbox there's a written theme under theme this right now the theme is selected to default you can choose any theme you want if you want it to be default you can use it like that but themes make it more colorful so let me just choose my theme I think this one berry patch it's pretty punchy now below theme it's written drag the elements into your app now first we need a label so where ABC label is written drag it on your mobile screen and drop it now over here on your in your workspace in properties under text it is written text remove it and write enter your age in years right now you want to change the x position of this right now in my screen it, the x position is 125 i don't know what your x position is right now but whatever it is just change your x position to 80 right huh? then we need a text input same method just text input input drag it and drop it under the label right you don't have to make any changes with the text input now we need a button so drag the button over here now in the properties in your workspace text it is written button replace it with calculator right then we need another label drag and drop the label under the button change the text and write your age in hours is right now i don't then just change the place of your label make it in center right there 
then you want to have another text input drag and drop it under the your label second label right now go back to the code page now in your workspace drag the on event block and drop it in your workspace right now in place of in the id arrow on event id it's written in place of id click the arrow and then you have these options you have to do button one then you want to get in the ui controls set number set number drag set number block and drop it in the loop right here then click on the id arrow then you want to have then select text input 2 then open math take this multiply operator block and drop it in the zeros place right here then in the first multiply number write 8760 8760 then what you want to do come back to ui controls and then get number block drop it in place of the other multiply place so now click on click on the arrow with the id and select text input one right now click on run and try entering your age so my name my age is nine so then click on calculator now i have lived 78,840 hours now let's see if this answer is correct i'll open my calculator now to get my age in hours it should be 9 multiplied by 365 multiplied by 24. now click is equal to and that's the right answer now let's see and now let me show you you can try any number and have fun with it but let me show you it even works with decimals so let's try 10.75 calculator this is the answer let me put my calculator again and now let's see 10.75 multiplied by 365 multiplied by 24 is equal to 94,170. That's right, the answer. Now, this is pretty easy to make, and I'm sure you'll have fun making it also. Now, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for all the notifications. Bye, guys!